my name is Fenu Prama Pasakon Biyu Paso. I would like to welcome you to the Buddha Bhatipa Temple as a part of 360 video. Well, the main temple was completed in 1981 and we started in 1979 and the building was designed by the National Thai architect in a Thai style. Um, we just would want to, to show to the Western people that this is the Thai architecture. At the moment, there are seven resident monks, and the head monk is pretty old, 92 years old. Um, quite often, we have a visitor, yeah, like a visiting monk, but there are seven resident monks, and all of us are living in a big house. Well, in the Buddhist shrine room, we have four basic things, Buddha statue, candles, incense sticks, and flowers. For Buddhists, Buddha statues are not regarded as a worshipping idol. When we pay respect to the Buddha, or uh, to the Buddha statue, the Buddha statue can remind us of the Buddha. So we just use as an object to remind us of the teacher. We use three incense sticks to pay respect to the Buddha, candles to pay respect or homage to the Dharma teaching, and then flowers to pay homage to the Sangha. We have Buddha, the Father of Buddhism, Dharma the teaching, Sangha, the Holy Order. We call them Tripan Gem. So we celebrate Magapuja. On that occasion, the Buddha has laid down three admonitions or the conclusion of his teaching, not to do all evil, to cultivate goodness, and to refine one's own mind. And we normally walk around the main temple, or even the pagoda, for three times. And after that, we proceed to the basement. To, to do the group chanting, and after the group chanting, and then we listen to, the, to a Dhamma talk by the monks, and then after the talk, we uh, have the almsgiving ceremony by uh, putting the non principal foot into the monk's bowl. So we have done dana, giving, sila, being moral, and then bhavana, mental development, through listening to the chanting, and sometimes we even do a short meditation. Yes, we offer meditation class to English-speaking adults followed by a short Dharma talk, and after that, the meditation will take place. Beginners will be instructed and guided. Advanced meditators will be practicing on their own. We call it a day retreat. You just meditate on your own, no instruction. You just do whatever meditation you prefer. Mainly, but if they would like to have the fresh air, the meditators can go to that part of the, the temple ground to meditate on their own, to do walking meditation, to do sitting under the tree, so that no one will go and disturb them. Not all Buddhists practice meditation because there are three basic practices Dana, giving, sila, being moral, and then bhavana, mental development, or meditation. So many Buddhists simply like to do dana, giving. They enjoy giving, they enjoy sharing, but they don't want to meditate. So meditation is not a must, but it's, it's an option. In Buddhism, the people are not forced, but if they want to develop themselves, meditation is a choice. The Black Buddha statue was donated to the temple by the late King of Thailand. Even the name was given by the late King of Thailand, Buddha Badiba. 
when the king, when the late king died, and we had the service for him, and when we have the new king, we also have the blessing chanting for his health and also for his long life as well. It's memory service, so when you would like to do the service for your beloved one who died a long time ago, like on the day that they die, so you can invite the monks to perform the chanting, we call it Matika chanting, and then you offer a set of rope as an offering, and you offer, offer a set of gift and also donation to the monks in order to dedicate merit to those departed friends or relatives. We call it the blessed string. And when we do the, the, the normal blessing chanting, we link the white string from the Buddhist statue because we're going to perform the chanting and then we believe that the energy we go through the string and then we make holy water. On Sunday, we are always busy. We have lots of visitors because, as, as I said before, we also have the Buddhism Day School. So the young children will come to the temple to learn about Buddhism, Thai culture, and Thai language. Their parents would come here to do chanting, to meditate, or to even, even to have a chat with their friends, with their colleagues. Most visitors are Thai, and there are Buddhists, I thought most of them live in London, so some people may travel quite far, like two or three hours to the temple. I'm proud of being a monk because I can help many people. And our job is to help people and help the people who suffer. As a monk, we are not married, so we don't have family. So we have time for the benefits of other people.